holding out, Pat. Well, Miss Green, we have enough for a couple of more days yet. Well, we have to figure some way of getting our stock through that pass. Well, now, I'm afraid that's going to be a pretty tough job. How long are we going to have to hold them here, Bates? Oh, darn if I know. Miss Green's going in town tomorrow to see the sheriff, see if he can't do something to help her. Well, I'm for shooting it out with him. Ever since Oliver took over that place, we've been camped here like a bunch of crawling redskins. We've got as much right to use that pass to get our stock into the railroad as he has. Been doing it for years, ain't we? I don't see why we should stop now. Well, she'll find out. But we all know something if we're going to get that stock into the pens on time. This is a swell country, Fuzz. I think we're going to like it. I'd like it a whole lot better if I had something to eat. I'm a hungry ocean. Where is this uh, new ranch of yours? Oh, I don't know, but from the description in the letter, it ought to be in that canyon right through those range of mountains over there. Hmm. Funny. Haven't a dad you never laid eyes on before. My stepfather. Oh. Married my mother after I left home, back in Washoe County. After she died, why, he drifted out here. Mighty nice of him to write and tell you that half the ranch was yours, when by keeping still, he'd had it all for himself. There might be a catch to it. See him, Fuzz. Let's get out of here before their aim gets good. Is that them? I guess so. I never saw them before. Looks like they got us corralled, Fuzz. Let's get out of this. It must be Oliver's men. Let them have it. You see some Oliver men? Yes, and they'll set it this way. Well, then they must have taken to the crick. Reckon they must have gone upstream.
Are you all right, Fuzz? Sure. Just uh, cutting a knock the wind out of me. Pick him up before I drill you. A nice way you have of greeting people in this part of the country. I ought to kill an honorable man on sight. What's that got to do with me? Ain't you an honorable man? Why, no. A friend and I just rode in looking for a job. Hope we can tie up with an outfit around here. Boys, you have to be more careful. If you're not, some innocent men are going to be killed before this war is over. I'm sorry my men caused you this trouble. That's all right, miss. We all make mistakes. Pat, you said this morning you could use a few extra men. At least until we get through that canyon. How are you with the gun? Oh, I managed to get by. Get by? Why don't you tell them the truth? Folks, he's the first man to shoot a hole in the donut at 60 yards. All right, boys, you're hired. You know, being strangers here, they may be able to learn of Oliver's movements. That's a swell idea, Miss Green. Do you mind doing a little detective work? I'd do anything for the outfit I'm working for. talk with you, Mr. Oliver. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, how's the real Oliver getting along? Well, he's still in the cellar. Trying to find some gunslingers to help you hold this pass. As long as we can keep the green outfit from coming through here, the sooner she'll be willing to sell out at a giveaway price. And we'll have the best grazing land in the state. I'll try and send you some extra gunmen in case they try to go through tonight. We'll freeze them out, because I want that land. They've sure got this pass closed up, Fuzz. I wonder what their game is. I just wondered. Strangers to me. Might be the law. We better not be seen together. And remember, your name's Oliver. I guess that's the place down there, Fuzz. What do you fellas want on this property? We're looking for Ed Oliver. Is this his place? Yes. But he just got off to town. And you fellas had better be off this property pronto.
I don't think I'm going to like my stepfather, Fuzz. Well, if he is expecting you, he sure didn't leave any welcome orders. You notice this gate's been left open. It looks like they're just stopping the green outfit from using the pass. I don't like the looks of this layout, Fuzz. It's not on the level. Sure ain't. and get something to eat before I pass out on you sissy-like. Well, I could go for a feed myself, Fuzz. Well, what do you have? A hot Spanish steak smothered well with onions. Lots of them. <laughs> that goes for me, too. Well, we'll just take a seat over there and we'll get them out for you. I'm looking for a man named Oliver. Do you happen to know him? Yeah. He drops in and out every day. If he happens to come in while I'm here, point him out to me, will you? Sure. In the meantime, let's have a couple of steaks. How would I have them? Rare. Not a word, Miss Green. No, I'm worried. I'm afraid they might be double-crossing you. I think I'll ride into town and find out. Well, I'll go with you. Find out what their game is. Well, boys, I guess you can count me out. I've had enough. Right. Looks like I'll have to do a little card playing. Be a shame to run them out of town with all that money. Like you're making a killing. Just killing time, that's all.
kind of a gambler you are. Passing up four of a... I had a hunch you knew what I had. You accusing me of cheating, you piker? The back door. Follow me, quick. Two new men just came in town. Killed Oliver in a card game. I'll handle it. Where are they? They beat it out the back way. I'll get them. Round up my boys. They can't get away with that in my county. There goes your two hands, Miss Helen, riding with the Brady's. I knew we shouldn't have trusted them. They belong to Brady's gang, and he's just as bad as Oliver. They must be in trouble. The sheriff's after them. This was a peaceful place until Oliver came along. Come on, Pat, let's get into town. Looks like they've taken a shortcut to the Brady Ranch. Saddle two horses and stand them here. 
And you don't know nothing, do you understand? Yeah. Take these horses and hide them in the swamp. Now hurry, come on. Down here, quick. I'll get rid of that sheriff. Howdy, Sheriff. Brady, where's them two men? What two men are you talking about? with you and your brother, after Oliver was killed. Well, Sheriff, we haven't been to town for hours. And when we left town, we was alone. Feel them horses, Martin, see if they're hot. Colder than an iceberg, Sheriff. Check them horses in the corral, look in the barn. Sheriff? You won't find a hot horse on my place. So Oliver was killed, huh? Wonder who'll get the ranch next. Well, Buzz, this is a real hideout. You could put a man down here and he'd never be found. I wonder why these fellas are so nice to us. Must be some kind of a game. Well, I can't guess. They'll be unloading in a minute. Can't find them, Sheriff. Keep your eye peeled, Brady. And if they show up, let me know. Bet I will, Sheriff. Hello there. What's that? We're not alone here. Now listen. Do you hear that? Can you hear me? Because there's somebody in there and they're gagging and can't talk. You boys have had a pretty close call. You'll have to stay out of sight for a while until you can prove that he shot in self-defense. Who was this fellow my pal killed? Name's Oliver. Just came into this country and bought a ranch. Where'd you boys come from? New Mexico. Things got kind of slow down there, so we drifted. Figured we might run into a job out this way. Well, I need a couple of hands right bad. That's why I helped you boys out of your jam. I need men that know how to use a shooting iron. Well, if it's murder or a stick-up, I'm not interested. Of course, if you're in your own right, why... That's just it. Now, this man, Oliver, that your pal killed, was just going to transfer the deed. And with that property of mine, I can force the green outfit to sell out for a song. I can control the whole upper range, driving them all out. Because with that canyon road closed, it's a 200 mile drive over the mountains and it won't pay. Do you see? Where do we come in? Your job is to keep that canyon road closed so the green outfit can't get their cattle through. What do you say, pard? We'll take it. Good. Now I'll give you my idea of how we can handle this thing.
Why, well, there's Mr. Lane now. Oh, Mr. Lane. Oh, Miss Green, I've been expecting you all day. Yes, I know, Mr. Lane, but I couldn't get to town any sooner. Uh, what's holding up the delivery of your stock? It's getting late, you know. Well, you see, Lost Canyon has been closed to us. It takes too long to take them over the mountain. Sorry, Miss Green, but you know this is a government order. And if that stock is not in these corrals by tomorrow, the order's canceled. But that'll ruin me, Mr. Lane. Well, I can't get a sale for two months. That means I'll have to ship east on my own. Well, you know my position. And I hope that you can make the delivery by tomorrow. Good day. Well, what are we going to do now, Pat? Sure now, and I'm stumped. Now, besides keeping the green outfit from through the canyon, there's one other thing. Oliver has a stepson. He's been trying to locate him for years. What about him? He mustn't show up. At least not until after I've secured the Oliver Ranch. Do you understand? I got you. You take charge of the boys at the ranch. I'll be over later with some extra ammunition. Right. He didn't fool me. That's Oliver's stepson or I'm crazy. Then what'd you harm him for? He may lead us to that 35,000. If he does, we'll take care of him. to me. First Miss Green hired you to get her through the canyon. Then this fella hired you to stop her and to knock yourself off. And I had to kill your stepfather. It's getting me loco. Something's all wrong, Father. This deal is sure crooked. And I'm going to play the card through just to see what happens. Well, you know, the sheriff will be looking for it high and low. What's the next move? That's right over at Oliver's ranch. I'm hankering to have a look at that place and uh, meet my gunman. Stay where you are! My orders are to keep you off of this property. You'll have to go on up over the mountain. We've used this pass many years, and we don't intend to be stopped by your dirty tricks. Get going or I'll blow you out of your saddle. Not so fast, mister. What's the trouble, Miss Green? Kind of dangerous butting into other people's business, especially when it don't concern you. Concerns me just as much. From now on, I'm giving the orders around here. Yeah? Who says so? The Brady's. I'm your new foreman. They'll be over and tell you personally. My orders are that you can't use this pass, Miss Green. But I will permit you to cross the property. Well, that's very kind of you. I hardly expected such nice treatment from one of the Brady gang. Come on, Pat, let's go. You stay here, Fuzz. I'm going to try and square myself. Huh. New foreman, eh? We'll see. Hand over that gun. coming here, aren't you? If I said the word, my men would kill you. I came here to explain things and to help you. But we don't need your help.
Well, Mr. Oliver, are you ready to tell me where that money is? I tell you, you've made a mistake. I haven't any money. Don't lie. The day you bought that ranch at Lone Gap, you had $35,000 in cash left. You didn't put it in the bank there because you owned a bank in this town. When you arrived here, our bank was closed. You hid that money, Oliver, and you're going to stay right here till you tell me where it is. If Ed Brady hired this fella, it's strange that he'd be a string along with that green girl. Shorty, you better ride over and tip Brady off. Right, Pete. Come on, crawl off of that horse. How are you going to handle this? Well, the law thinks that the real Oliver's dead. I have a forged bill of sale to the ranch. And when we get them out of the way in the dough, then everything is ours. Do you understand? That fellow you said over take charge. He's down talking to the green girl. He thought you ought to know it. I told you I didn't like his looks. We'd better get over there. Come on. Miss Green, would you please explain why you have to use this pass to get your stock to the railroad? Well, you see, the river gorge runs for many miles, and this pass is the only one that leads to a crossing. Isn't there a road out of town that leads to the railroad? But only over the mountains, and that would take several days. And I must have my stock in the tents by tomorrow. You round up your horses and hold them here. When you hear two shots, start a movement and don't stop. Your idea about blowing up the gate might work. That is, if I could trust you. You'll have to trust me. We might as well take a chance, Miss Helen. Because if we don't have our stock in there by morning, we'll lose the sale. I guess you're right, Pat. We'll do as you say. Pete was right. There they are now. A double crosser, eh? I'll fix him. Come in. Put him up. Thought you'd put one over on me, huh? Working for the green outfit. I have a good mind to turn you over to the sheriff. Hold your guns, men. We'll battle them down.
him on the horses and take him over to the cellar. Boys, this is Mr. Oliver. Oliver? I thought he was dead. Not yet. But he will be if he doesn't come through with what I want. Maybe you can get him to do it. We'll wait upstairs for you. No hurry. Be smart, Oliver, and see it my way. You know who I am, Mr. Oliver? From the description your mother gave me, you're Jim Hale. Must have got my letter. Better if you hadn't. We're in a bad crowd. Well, why are they holding you? What's their game? The Bradys have always wanted Canyon Ranch. They frightened the former owner away. That's who I bought the place from, for us. I wrote you to meet me. I came here with $35,000. According to your mother's will, it's half yours. The Bradys learned of this, and here I am. They offered me my liberty if I'd surrender the cash and the ranch. Sorry, Jim, I got you into this. We better give up. Don't be foolish. As soon as you'd agree to give them the money, they'd leave you here to rot. We've got to get out of here. How long are you going to give them down there? Just enough time to think it over. And then we'll sweat the old man into telling us where the money is. And when he does, we'll let them all have it. You know what I mean. They tricked us, Tom. Look out. You men right for the sheriff. I'm starting to drive. Where are the Brady's? Never mind them. Come on, let's don't let these hombres get away.
Well, what do you think of our friend now? He ain't here like he promised. Well, maybe he couldn't make it. Sure, he'll never make it. I tell you, he's tricked us. Put him up, you two. You're making a mistake, Sheriff. My name's Oliver. Sure, this is Oliver. Yeah? Oliver's dead. I can prove my identity. It's the Brady's you want. All right. Start in from the beginning. Explain everything. I own Canyon Ranch. The Brady's want it. And they're trying hard to get it for me. done for. Come on. I reckon we'll take this job into our own hands. Dave, let me have that dynamite. Oh, look, Pat. I almost didn't get here. Pat, you crack a herd a moment. All right, boys. Get them going. Give me that dynamite. I reckon they're going to break down the gate, push them through the canyon. We better tell Ed. We'll have to hurry, Sheriff, or the Brady gang will kill my boy. All right, but you've still got to prove everything you've told me. I'll do that to your satisfaction. Come on. What do you mean, leaving us here? We was trying to catch them mummies, but they got away from us. They run them horses through the canyon. Gonna break down that gate. You pick up the other boys. Tell them to turn that band of horses, and you fellas, hold that gate. Tom, you go with them. Get down there and turn them horses.
catch Jim. He's after Brady. Let's go. I figured you'd be catching up with me someday, Sheriff. Yeah, but I reckon it's Brady I want. I'm right glad to know you, though. Well, I'm glad to know you feel that way about it. Well, I'm glad that you're glad. In fact, uh, my glad is uh, gladder than you're glad. That is, uh, well, uh, I reckon we're all glad. Uh, <laughs> except Brady. <laughs> <laughs> What do you intend to do, Helen, now that you've sold all your stock? Well, I really don't know. I've always wanted a cattle ranch. Me too. You know, I have the finest grazing land in the country. Do you suppose there's a chance of us going in this cattle business together? Miss, if you don't take up his proposition, you're crazy. Suppose you old buzzard. What do you mean, sneaking up on us like this? Me? Sneak up? But, folks, you walked right up here where I was sleeping. I couldn't help hear what you said. Anyhow, I'm a pretty good foreman. And I sure know how to take care of cattle. And kids, too. <laughs> <laughs> 